dear students for your uh, from the topic spectroscopy uh, only the small point that is visible spectra is included here so the range of visible uh, spectroscopy is from 400 to 800 nanometer so this range of light uh, visible light is used for the uh, is used in uh, spectrophotometry a substance which absorbs the visible radiation shows color uh, what we see is only because of the presence uh, is only because of visible light uh, what we see the color is actually the effect caused by a particular wavelength of visible light on the eye so whatever we see the black uh, color white color whatever the colors which we uh, see is only because of the uh, uh, specific wavelength of light radiations are absorbed by the uh, uh, eye the color which is absorbed and the color which is actually seen are complementary to each other that what we see suppose we see the blue color is uh, in that case the human eye uh, absorbs yellow colored light yellow colored light uh, if suppose we see the color green then the color absorbed by the uh, eye is red so complementary color is there thus only colored compounds can be used in visible spectroscopy that is to study the compounds with uh, colored compounds we can use visible spectroscopy uh, the general technique uh, in the visible spectroscopy or basic principle of physical spectroscopy is similar to the uv spectroscopy uh, the visible light is obtained from a tungsten filament lamp a glass prism and gratings are used uh, to get the monochromatic beam uh, the cells are made of optical glasses uh, to uh, are used for to keep the sample in the visible spectroscopy the just i have told that is a principle of visible spectroscopy is similar to the uv spectroscopy the absorbed visible light is utilized for the electronic excitation uh, the molecules having chromophores absorbs uv are absorbs in the uv region but if the conjugation is extended then energy required for pi to pi star and n to pi star transition is get reduced and the wavelength shifts to the visible uh, uh, region hence the absorption extends into the visible region and the compound will be seen colored so whatever we see the color is because of the presence of chromophore and isochromic groups in the molecule uh, so now see this example here uh, the development of color is seen uh, by uh, is seen here and it is understood by the following examples now see this uh, conjugated polyene so beta carotene is there if you see this beta carotene there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so near about uh, more than 10 and 10 uh, double bonds are conjugated with each other uh, and due to increase in conjugation uh, the energy required for the pi to pi star transition is get decreased and the shift and the wavelength is get shift to the uh, longer wavelength that is bathochromic shift takes place and uh, this beta carotene due to presence of extended conjugation uh, it uh, it absorbs a lambda max value that is wavelength at 450 nanometer hence it it shows a color that is orange colored is there so the color of any compound or any molecule is only because of the uh, presence of different uh, chromophoric and exochromic groups in the molecule see this example of aromatic compounds benzene is a colorless but nitrobenzene that is uh, when nitro group is attached to the benzene the color of that benzene is get changed to the pale yellow and then when again nh2 group is added to the para position of this nitrobenzene then the color of that molecule is deep yellow that is para nitro aniline so it is only because of the extended conjugation in these molecules see see the arrows which are shown for the conjugation of electrons so in para nitro aniline there is more conjugation in the molecule and because of that conjugation uh, the molecule has a deep color and we know that there are different dye molecules are there and this uh, for that for these molecules uh, 
the color is only because of the presence of extended conjugation in the molecule so this is what a simple uh, point is added in your syllabus what is mean by visible spectroscopy and what is the range of visible spectroscopy and why the human eye uh, receive and why we see different colors is only because of the different wavelength of light is received by the uh, retina of our eye so just i have told the example of beta carotene and the example of benzene nitrobenzene and pyranitroaniline in the next we are going to study the last point that is mass spectroscopy